They got your name wrong. Should be Turtle. It's OR, right? Yes, yeah, it, it does say OR. You ready for the jungle truck? I called it a mountain truck earlier and they got mad at me. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. Moving so, under the water. Oh wow. Oh, he's like, shut up. Awesome. <laughs> oh wow. So they do. It is really important for them to stay in that water. It's going to help protect their skin from that hot sun. <laughs> That's his mouth. Wow. Nice the teeth. food. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so while we're looking at the teeth, hopefully he'll open his mouth a little bit wider. Um, you're going to see some pretty impressive teeth in there. So I know you guys walk by that skull, but a little different seeing it in person. So they've got some impressive oh, teeth. Nice oh, 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 yeah, another one coming. Um, so you can see them kind of poking out there. They actually do have molars as well in the back. It's harder to see. So as you see, Eat more, actually, kind of throwing that, um, those greens in the back of his throat. So, since they're herbivores, um, they're not really going to be able to pick up their grass with those teeth. What do you guys think those incisors are here in the Defense. Yes, exactly. Defense. <laughs> um, yes, they're very territorial, so they will use those. Um, they'll kind of show them off at first. See if that I would love it. They also can use them as displays when, um, and they, well, the other their body one. knows when to come up and get a breath of air, so it's an automatic response to lift that head, get that air, and then go right back to sleep. Look at the other one. So that makes them nocturnal since they are sleeping all day. You want a little something now, buddy? Here's your here. Here we go. Thank you. <coughs> the dad of Henry Peacock, all the girls named for him because they think he's so cool. Larry Peacock. They're actually really cool for their environment in Africa. They live in the river system. At one point, they were being poached by one of the civil wars in Africa, so they were losing hippos in the river. What that caused is a lot of disease and death and they were losing hippos in the river. What that caused is a lot of disease, flooding, loss of habitat because those hippos, what they do is they go through the rivers and they'll eat all the grasses, all the plants that grow underwater. They can start murking it up, make it too thick, things can't get through. So then when you have rains, it floods instead of keep turning down the river because all those plants stop the movement. So without the hippos, things were overflowing, spreading malaria and other diseases. Now what we've done is with the hippos pulling the river and seeing all those plants that keep from the water flowing. <laughs> Across the way we 
do have our Vultures. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Watch where I'm stepping. Don't look. I didn't listen. If you got me tripping, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty, my family fork them all the way down to my hand, right here. Keep going. Come on, back with me. So that everybody here. We're going to get a picture of the so Look at his eyes! He blinked! Oh, God! Yup! Oh, I'm see, sorry. Sorry. Hey, it's fine. I'm going to feed them like one mouse a week and then they'll take it, they'll actually drown it, and then they'll store it away and go eat it later. Under rocks. Mouth is so weird. These sides don't do that because there's no place to go. There's no real cream there for them to get. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you talk about a lot of movement now, is that just because they're getting ornery with each other or? So they are territorial, they do have a dominance hierarchy. <clears throat> so if one guy's laying on the beach and another guy comes too close to that guy's spot, they may get into a little bit of a fight. Uh, you know, or because they do like their Thank you very much. in the front of her chest, it literally looks like you took one M and you folded yeah, it over on a piece of paper. Oh, that's awesome. You can't see yeah, it now, but yeah. she also looks very different. Like, if you saw her like face. Like, like you like her. I do. Now, all of your photos, her face is going to be hidden because she's hungry, like always. They eat about 20 hours a day. Oh, Can you wow. believe that? 20 hours? For about 30 minutes a day. Scoot down, down for me. 30 minutes? 30 function? minutes a day. And what's wild is that they sleep for a few seconds to a few minutes at a time, and it adds up to 30 minutes. So they're not fully asleep for 30 minutes. How do you function on that? Jeez. Yeah. Well, they're not the smartest animals. They don't uh, really need to be all there. And they're not. So. <laughs> And we have trained them to not come to the trucks, which but you could imagine, right? That would be... Otherwise, they'd come to every single truck that drives by, and right. they'd hold up traffic. Yeah. Um, actually, a lot of zoos allow, a lot of zoos allow you to feed giraffe. 
few local zoos. I mean, right down the road, we've got five zoos, and they all feed direct, but it's only five dollars. <laughs> you know, you can actually touch a rhino down the road for five dollars. It's fun, but giraffe are really kind of gross when you actually eat them because they have a lot of saliva in their mouth mm -hmm. based on the plants that. Sorry, I'm trying to eat them. Um, based on the plants that they like to eat, there's a lot of thorns on it, so that saliva is thick and it coats the thorns. So when you're actually going to feed them, you'll end up with like saliva and grossness. I used to work with giraffes, so it's a lot of yeah. grossness. And I also know people who've gotten concussions from giraffe because if you spook them and they swing their head, because that's yeah. what they use to protect them, wow. it can give you a concussion bruise the entire side of your face. So they being also, a giraffe yeah. is exciting, but it's at the same time really exciting. Yeah. 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 I would they're gorgeous, animals. but not. Yeah, I'd take a rhino over. Yeah, what's your? <laughs> How do you guys figure out the names of animals here? We allow um, either guests to vote on the name using the Disney Parks blog. It's called, or we uh, have curators that name them. And I usually let the peasants. Our boyfriend loves her very much. In love, and there she is. All right, now we're also going to buy a big cow with big horns. You guys see this? Here she is. That's Whoa. my favorite cow. It's Adiola. You see her big horns? Looks like she's a big Ohio State fan. You'll see that. That's why I love her because I'm from Ohio State. There she is. She loves Ohio State. It's really cool to have a cow like a million years ago in my life. Is that true? I've seen it in a book. Like way back in the. Like when there was a little zoo, petting zoo thing at Disneyland. We'll go like on a new road, Mike. Open. They had a cow that had big ears. Like a spot. A spot. Oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Like a spot that looked like Mickey. Oh, wait, yeah. Like yeah. the hidden Mickey. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was an original hidden Mickey. Yeah, that's Max. He's just standing in the road, making sure he knew. Making sure we knew he was there. Yeah. Instead of everyone looking at him. Yeah. 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 Now, Seymour, Max, and Wyatt are the youngest that we have here, and they are 14 months old. Oh. Yeah, about 14 months, 15 months old now. Older than that. Oh, something spooked him. Doesn't take much. They're afraid of a lot. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, okay, I've seen a hundred of you today. And they all walk past these bushes, please. I want you guys to see the cows. And this is good right here, my bank. Are we clear? Okay, we're clear. All right, let's move around. I'm going to take that seat back so I can talk to Mike again. So, you know. But there's Here. the cow. I'll sit, Dan Coley I'll sit down so and you I showed you my favorite. Me. Her name was Adiola, right? She's the one that's most important. Addie. The horns are almost hollow on the inside. They look like a honeycomb. Have you ever seen a honeycomb? Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you? <coughs> yeah, I always just think of honeycombs for breakfast. You know, that's what it looks like on the inside. Nicole's the side left. You don't yeah. have to worry about Oh, that. yeah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure that yeah. moved out of the way so I don't. Oh, oh. There she is, laying down. Like I said, that's a good sign. She's comfy. Yeah, she's too comfortable with us here. Do you guys want to see if we can find some elephants? Absolutely. In the world, so this is a little bit weird. I don't know. Can't see your head. We have three adult females. We've got two teenagers, two like um, youngsters, and then we have one baby. The baby is 14 months old. Her name is Stella. And she was born on a full moon. And so was her sister, Luna. I know. <laughs> <laughs> And that's their mom, the one that's got her head to us. That's Donna. Very normal name, I know, right? I have a cat named Harriet. So I was like, wow, how we should get a picture of Harriet sitting on Donna because it's just like normal friends. All of these people look at us. 
Oh. And then the top one has to come off. You've got to take the clip this off. Is